Let's talk about preliminary, uh, quote here, preliminary results obtained with material produced during commission, since you talk about that, during commission mm -hmm. tests completed in December are very promising. Why are they very promising? I'll go back to, to this, okay? Um, and it's sort of like understanding the, the philosophy behind what we did. The Gen 1 machine, okay, the first generation of the nanoreactor, is designed to give us all the data we need to build a small scale proof of commercial scalability pilot plant, which we call the Gen 2. Um, and when we started this process at the beginning, we chose, we thought it would be faster, and, and, and it's not wrong. It's neither right or wrong, it's just a reality. We thought of using the other machine, which was our, our Gen 2 QRR, converted to make the nano particle. And by the middle of the year, we started to realize that that was a major cause of our issues because of, uh, one machine was designed to do one thing and we're asking to do something else. So there was, you know, there was oxygen leaking into it. And oxygen is the enemy of silicon, SI. And, it's, and if you read the literature in SI for batteries, it is something very difficult and complicated to control and everything else. So once we identify the problem, okay, the guys at Pyro identify the problem, identify the solution, identify the multiple causes. And the biggest one was deemed to have been, oh, the fact that we're using, we're using the Gen 2 QRR converted into the system didn't work. So... Then we just set out to design, how can we fix this? So the first question we ask, can we fix the first machine and make it remove the oxygen? Or do we go back and design a completely new one? If you love that clip, give us a like, then hit the link to watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe.